What's going on guys? So today I'm sharing another eBay purchase. Uh, it was for this, which I think I've talked about before in the past, but uh, I saw this for a really good price and I couldn't pass it up. It's brand new in the package. Um, and it came with these. <laughs> so real quick, I'm going to show these because it's kind of a funny story. I don't know why they put these together. I guess it's a, a junk drawer find. Who knows? But these are some old matchbooks. I do not collect matchbooks, although I know a couple people who do. So these are probably passed on right to them. Um, but there was one here that just gave me a really good laugh. And I honestly didn't even notice it in the, the actual listing. I saw that it was for this, which I wanted. And these were extra. I'm like, oh, whatever. I guess I'll use them. And then when it arrived in the mail, me and Christina were cracking up. So anyway, there's two books here that have some uh, jets on there or planes. Convair Division of General Dynamics. All right. Convair F-106. Very cool, obviously, for a military enthusiast. Little uh, factoids, I guess, on the planes. All right. So that's one pack, and here's another one. Same deal, but this is a Convair B-58. I know nothing about military planes. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Actually, when I first saw these, I thought of uh, Nut and Fancy, because I know obviously he was a, a pilot, and he would appreciate those quite a bit. So maybe I'll hang on to those and eventually send it to him. Um, and then this one, Happiness, is a King Edward Cigarello. Very cool, probably from the 70s, maybe the 60s. A King Edward Cigarello. Uh, natural shade grown wrapper and so forth actually has some some specs on the cigar so that's kind of cool probably just actually use those well you know what like I said these this one I'm saving just because it's, it's funny it made me laugh but anyway uh, then there's this this random motif again looks very you know mid to late 70s ish possibly 60s who knows a little flower pattern that burnt orange and then there's this one this totally took me by surprise. It says, snatch a match. And there's a woman going, shh, don't say nothing. And then you open it up, and you're hit with that. <laughs> Screw it. There you go. How about that? Uh, what's actually funny is that this did not have any matches in it at all. And uh, the matches were all used up, and Christina and I were both laughing about it and stuff. And I'm like, oh, it's a shame it doesn't have matches. I'd, I'd save it. And she said, well, let's put matches in it. So she took the staple out and everything and, you know, got a, a regular cheap matchbooks or excuse me, matchbook and cut it out and, and put it in there. So it's like, it looks like original. Obviously the matches back then would have been a little bit different. I don't know what they originally looked like. They had white cardboard, but I don't know what the tips, like the color or anything. But yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. So yeah, anyway, those weren't even, I didn't even care about those. So it was just a, a side laugh. So the video and the purchase was this. This is a brand new zip light in the package. All right, you can see the original price tag on here on the top. It was $3.95. So the zip light was the Zippo flashlight insert. Now, I saw that Zippo recently obviously came out with their butane inserts. I would really, really love to see them recreate the zip light. Okay, so that's exactly how it sounds. It is a battery pack that's shaped kind of like a Zippo insert and it had a flashlight in it. Now, I'm really debating opening this. I feel like the original batteries that are in here, there's two very skinny batteries. I forget the, the size of them. They're like smaller than uh, AAAs. Um, I don't know if they're good or not. You know what I mean? It's hard, I can't test it here because you need this up against metal to complete the circuit. So when this is in the case, this little metal kind of bridge is touching, obviously, the inside of your case. And then uh, this red button here is what turns it on and off. When it's closed, it's in the off position, okay, because it's pushing this in, which is breaking the circuit. When you open your Zippo lid, this pops out and it completes the circuit and turns the flashlight on. Originally, it's a pretty weak flashlight, obviously. Um, you know, the technology wasn't there, the crazy LEDs and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, like, I don't know. I really don't know if I want to just keep it in the package or if I want to take it out and, and get it to work. I don't have a need to have a flashlight in my Zippo, so I'm, I'm kind of considering just leaving it how it is as a collectible, but it's pretty darn cool. Like I said, you could find these. I mean, I, I happen to get a good price on this because they obviously didn't care what they had. They were just selling some random stuff here, some matchbooks and this. Um, but like when people know what they have, they, they, they're not that expensive. I mean, maybe you pay 20 or $30 for something like this. They're usually not in the package. They're usually just loose. Uh, and I actually had one a long time ago that the batteries were dead and I couldn't find new batteries, but I looked at some hack online. There used to be a Zippo forum I was part of, but it no longer exists. 
but they showed like, you know, a certain resistor. If you get the resistor, then you can use this battery in there. And I, I was very excited when I got it to work, but I didn't use it all that much. I just got it to work and it's cool. And that's pretty much it. Obviously most people carry their Zippo lighters for fire, uh, not for flashlight, but it is a nice thought that even if you don't smoke, you can carry a cool Zippo and have a flashlight in there. But the old ones, like I said, not that bright at all. So I would really love to see Zippo come out with this again, a modern 2020 version or 2021, whatever it happens to be, and, and with a really nice uh, output, maybe some different colors or something. That would be really cool, right? So, hey, if someone from Zippo is watching, make that happen because uh, we would all love it. So anyway, you can see here it says made in the USA, as we know. Uh, fits in any classic Zippo case, one-hand operation, auto on and off feature, and adjustable beam. Now it says adjustable beam, this top part rotates here. I never played with that ever before. In fact, I never even knew it was adjustable in the old one. Um, I'm not sure whether they're saying by adjustable, almost like the old maglite where you have uh, all flood and you kind of rotate it and narrow it down so that it has more throw. Uh, but again, it was, a, it was a weak output originally to begin with, so I'm not sure exactly how much that would matter. It says this Zippo Light battery pack uh, will fit in any Zippo, classic Zippo case. Pick a design to match your personality or your mood or recycle a treasure Zippo windproof lighter into a handy pocket flashlight. Zip Light makes a great personal gift. And then it shows how that works there. All right, so yeah, pretty interesting. I don't know the exact date this thing came out. I wanna say it's the early 90s, but I don't really know for sure. That's just me guesstimating. But yeah, if you never heard of Zip Light, now you have. Very, very cool uh, item. And like I said, for me, just a collectible. But, you know, it would be really awesome to see them, you know, recreate this. Because, like I said, I know it's going to be immensely popular. as something you could sell, you know, at Walmart. People would be interested in it. Uh, maybe have your grandfather Zippo, your father Zippo, your mother Zippo, your grandmother Zippo. There's a lot of people out there who talk to me all the time and say, like, yeah, I have this cool Zippo. It's my family member. It's got a story behind it. Maybe someone carried it in the war. Uh, but, you know, I don't smoke, so I don't carry it. Well, how cool would it be if you can throw a flashlight in there? Not everyone needs fire in their pocket. Not everyone needs a lighter. However, everyone can benefit from a flashlight. So it's a really nice addition. So someone can actually treasure and use something that you know, was handed down that they normally would just keep in a drawer. So anyway, that's it. I just want to show that as well as these because I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> and, uh, and that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.